Hi, it's Grace Gilfoyle with B. Grace MT Movement Therapies. We are here today on Thursday for Therapy Thursdays, where we're going to be just doing some self-massage on different areas of the body. Today, our being our first day, we're gonna start from the bottom, at the bottom, working our feet. So you'll need either a tennis ball, or this is a lacrosse ball. I've got other kinds of balls. There's these tiny little ones, the super balls that are great. Golf balls are another good implement. But let's start with the bigger tool first. What I always like to do, we'll spend about two minutes on each side, is warming up the tissue. So just pressing my entire foot on the ball, rolling from the toes to the heel and from the heel to the toe, just to warm up that area. Now, as you can see here, I'm using a towel. That's just to help um, the ball not move away from me too much. Of course, if it gets to be too much, getting it wrapped up in the towel, you can always place it in a sock or maybe just not use a towel at all. So just several passes over the whole foot and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna concentrate on the toes. So pressing just underneath the big toe, moving to the second toe, third toe, and so forth. And what you can do as well is this, especially if you have some tender areas, you might wanna spend some extra time there and maybe even adding a little extra pressure using your hand. So I'm going back to the, the toe side and pressing into the toe and wiggling around on the ball and using my hand to give some extra pressure on each individual toe. Now the toes are also known as reflex points for the sinuses. So a lot of times I will, if I'm having congestion, I will go ahead and massage individually um, each toe. And that actually, believe it or not, helps relieve that pressure in your sinuses. So you can go ahead and try that. Then we're going to go ahead and move on down just underneath the toes and I'll go back and forth. That feels really great. Spending a little more time in the arch of the foot here. Again, using extra pressure. If you're finding that you're not getting enough pressure, you can always stand up. Getting on one knee, giving that pressure into the center of the foot. And you might come upon some things that are pretty tender. And of course you can hang out there if you can take that pain or you can just pass back and forth over that area. Eventually you will wanna spend more time on the one spot that is sore. But for right now, when we're just beginning this journey together, you can just use a little bit of pressure and just come back to it. Go away and then come back. Moving on into the heel, the heel is a big area for the sciatic nerve pain. The sciatic nerve travels all the way down the back side of the leg and into the heel. And uh, by stimulating through the heel, you can stimulate that sciatic nerve. I also like to spend some time on the inside of the foot, using the ball with my hand, rolling, being very careful and gentle around the ankle bone, and also even covering the top of the foot as well. And of course, the outside of the foot. And there's many different ways you can get the outside of the foot. You can go ahead and take the ball on the floor and roll on the outside of the foot like that. Or you can take your hand and press the ball on the, uh, the outside of the foot using the pressure of the hand. Do not neglect the top of the foot as well. Um, reflexology, those points over there on the top of the foot are the lymphatic system, which is responsible for immunity in the body. So that's a great place to address as well. Let's take the same uh, protocol over to the other foot. Again, several passes through the whole entire foot. Good pressure all the way through just to warm up the tissues. You can even do a few circles, which helps open up the ankle. And then going back to each individual toe, pressing the uh, hand on the top of the foot over the toe, stimulating those sinuses that run through the body. Just like that. And then taking it back and forth, just underneath the toes 
If there's tender spots, spend a little extra time on those tender spots. Moving on to the arch of the foot. Lots of issues happen in the body when, uh, as we age, our arches begin to fall. And so it's important to take care of those arches, giving them some good circulation. And then finally, taking that ball again to the heel, rubbing it around the heel. And then of course, remembering to get the inside of the foot the inside of the ankle and then the outside of the foot and the outside of the ankle. I'm glad you had a little bit of time to work on those feet and hopefully you will take this practice into your day and into your week. Thanks so much for spending this couple minutes with B Grace MT. Uh, please like and subscribe and share. Namaste.